So the S9 just came out and it has this new app called Lumix Lab. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it if you're watching this video. And basically what it does is allows you to connect the S9 to your phone and load LUTs and dump photos and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna preface this video by saying you can't connect the S5 II, the S5 IIx, the G9 II to Lumix Lab yet. That's coming in a software update, I believe, but we don't really know when. It just says it on the Panasonic website that it's coming soon. So until then, I figured out a way to actually get the LUTs that people are uploading to Lumix Lab onto your S5 II and your S5 IIx and your G9 to use with the real-time LUT feature that comes with these cameras. So basically it's very similar to Fujifilm's film recipes where uh, it kind of mimics film stocks and it looks really good right out of the camera. It's a JPEG. You can definitely shoot raw, but if you want to just shoot JPEGs and have them look really good right out of the camera, this is the video for you. But again, you cannot connect your camera to the Lumix software. This is just getting the LUTs onto your camera so that you can shoot JPEGs. I just wanna make sure that everyone understands that because it's a very limited version of using Lumix Lab on the S5 II. You're not technically using it on the S5 II, you're just using it with the S5 II and the S5 IIx and the G9. And the other thing is, you're not gonna get all 39 LUTs that you can get with the S9. You're only gonna get four presets. So this is kind of a limited version of using Lumix Lab, but the fact that I even figured this out, it's pretty sick that you can get these LUTs onto these cameras that don't have access to this app yet. So let's uh, jump over to the app and I'll show you exactly what to do. All right, my fault. I don't want to delay this video any longer, but I forgot to mention, I realized when I was editing that I forgot to mention the LUTs on the Lumix Lab app right now, they're okay, they're not great. This is not gonna stack up to Fuji by any means right now, but I am assuming as this app gets more popular and the camera actually releases, people are going to make some really good stuff. So. I just wanted to mention that these are not great and all of these photos that you're seeing are not straight out of camera. They are edited slightly, so I just wanted to let you know. So we're here in Lumix Lab and you can see it says add photos and videos from your device or Lumix camera and start editing. The only camera that you can connect to this is the S9 as of right now. So we're not gonna be connecting our camera, but the cool thing is what we can do is go over to the download tab and let me just say there aren't the greatest presets out yet. Uh, the camera, I believe, hasn't even come out yet, so we're gonna have to see like exactly what people come up with. As we can see here, there's creator LUTs, trending LUTs, Lumix LUTs. I used one of the Lumix LUTs, so I used the Teal Flat S, which is right here. Um, I also used Positive Color from Azeros, I guess that is, and I also used Retro Style 709 from Kazoo to take a few of these photos, but basically it's very simple. All you have to do is let's take Teal Flat S for example. It's already downloaded, but what you would do is click download. And then once it's downloaded, it goes into your LUTs container, I guess you would call it, your LUTs page. And here it is, Teal Flat S. And all you have to do is click on it and hit share. Once you hit share, all of these different apps will come up. Uh, so I use Slack or Google Drive, but Slack actually goes faster for me, so I just used Slack. And I slacked it to myself and it comes in a RAR file. And then inside that RAR file is a cube file. And what you can do with the cube file is upload it to your S5 II, 2X or G9 Mark II into your LUT library. So that's exactly what I did. If you don't know how to do that, there are plenty of tutorials online about how to do it. But basically you put the cube file into the directory of an SD card and pop it into your camera, go to your LUT library and then hit load. And you're gonna load any of the LUTs that you get from this Lumix app and away you go. Now they're inside of your camera. And now I'm gonna pop over to the camera to show you what I did to basically load these into profiles. So once you have your LUTs loaded, there's positive color, retro style 709 and teal flat. You're going to come into your picture profiles. I'm on real time LUT right now, but I'm gonna swap over to my photo style one. And now you have four photo styles to choose from that are all custom. I already have them loaded, but basically what you're gonna do is you're going to go down until you get to this uh, LUT, the LUT section. You're gonna do LUT select, and this one I'm gonna do positive color, click okay. And the only thing you have to do after that is remember or check in the Lumix Lab app what picture profile this film style was based off of. So uh, this one was based off of standard, so I'm leaving it at standard. But for example, my 709 one was based off of 709. So uh, retro style 709 is 
based off of the like 709 picture profile. So I leave it at 709. So it gets all of the colors where they're supposed to be because the LUT was based off of that picture profile. And that's literally all you have to do. Now you can just change your white balance however you need to. You don't wanna change the white balance shift at all because those are all baked into the cube files. But yeah, that's literally it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped.